is Act Chaos and welcome to a brand new series of City Skylines. Uh, this series, as you've seen in the intro, it's a, a small, um, well, I don't think it's that small. If we have a look at our sizes, I mean, there's a lot of tiles to be used. It's not that small. Um, but the idea is really that uh, this is a real, a real city. So instead of those massive highways, we are actually having these small two-lane rural highways throughout the city or throughout the terrain and as you can see we're already seeing a fair bit of traffic congestion right from the start because what I've done is at the edges of these maps I've kind of taken the big highways and just um, made them smaller and smaller and so that we can have a bit more of a realistic um, development of the city. The other piece of this that's going to be way more realistic is uh, th the city is going to have a reason for being. So um, in my mind, at least, you will have this is this super large um, hydro dam built by the federal government or something to generate power for the region. A massive amount of power being generated by this hydroelectric power plant. And uh, and that's kind of why there's a need for a city over here. So on the main road, I kind of imagine that the constructors of the dam built this little road out there. Um, and they've also built it from that side because it, it needed to be constructed from from both directions at the same time to uh, to make sure they can do it in, in an appropriate amount of time, basically. And now this facility needs people to actually operate it. A facility like that would always need a bit of staff. I'm not sure. I'm not a hydroelectric engineer or something like that. I don't know how much they need, but we will think that they need some um, some stuff. But you also you also don't want to build the town on top of it, so uh, the town will be a little bit further away uh, over here. Um, this map, by the way, uh, let's just before we go, is uh, Mr. Miyagi's Steel Town. I'll link it in the description. Um, but I've made some tweaks to it with regards to. Predominantly the roll, road and rail network, and I've added the um, hydropower plant and made a little bit of tweaks here and there. Um, okay, so now let's get a, get a, a move on. So um, I'm gonna oh in this series, uh, this is kind of a bit of an intro as well. Uh, this, I'm gonna try and make the episodes no longer than thirty minutes um, each, and uh, we're gonna build this little town. Or we're going to start with a little town and that'll develop into a large city. I'm intending to, in the end, have a pretty large um, city. It's not going to remain a town, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly grow. And you can immediately see we're going to have massive issues with traffic straight away. Um, so what we'll do is we'll deal with those issues with traffic as they develop. What uh, Something that I just can't un uh, understand or something that I just don't like about the way um, the game plays vanilla, basically, is that you've got these massive um, highways and then it kind of lets these highways bypass your city and then you have got to uh, do a little um, a little starting point somewhere off of a highway. But, but that's not how cities developed. Cities developed from a rural road that kind of linked um, maybe a city somewhere over here and a city somewhere over there. They linked it up and there was something else needing um, people to live this in this area and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do that what I've done is I've booked up power from our um, hydro plant and what I've also done is I've uh, I've got a bit of a water facility over here but what we don't have is we don't have anything um, any of the other bits and pieces we don't have sewage treatment or anything like that I am using a fair number of mods and um, you will see my mod um, collection steam collection link in the description of this video so go and have a look I'm gonna link the mods predominantly maybe the network items um, and probably some of the buildings but I'm generally not gonna link every single asset or anything like that and for the most part I'm not using a lot of assets um, apart from a few buildings what I am however doing and this is for the first time I'm actually using um, new vehicle mods um, assets so we're not really having a lot of the, um, I'm, I'm thinking almost none of the vanilla um, vanilla vehicles are in here. So we've got a ton of fancy vehicles, real life vehicles in here. Um, I think that guy might be a vanilla one. Yeah, that might be a vanilla one. But for the most part, they will not be vanilla. We'll see how it goes. It's the first time I've actually done it that way. Okay, so now let's get um, straight into it. Oh, you would have seen we had, um, we had, 
a lot of issues over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resolve this traffic way before we even start the city. Um, I think this is a pretty easy fix, to be honest. So, and, and this is going to be the kind of stuff that we're going to do um, in this in this playthrough. So let's get ourselves um, a three lane. Uh, actually, we want a highway, which is going to be a three lane section of highway. And I want to, for some reason, it's trying to say that it's actually uh, way up in the air. Let's just make sure that it's not. Um, so if I do that, um, and we'll flip it around. Uh, probably do an extra section and flip that around again. And that's going to be, um, I think, appropriate. What we could also do is we could also do this little section right over here, just so that these guys have an easier ride to actually get in there. So now that we've done that, that's the upgrade, guys. That is the upgrade. What we're going to do now is we're going to use things like node spacer, ooh, node spacer over here, to... Ooh, ooh, we're shifting it. Uh, I want to stretch it. Actually, let's. Uh, it's a middle. It's a. It's stretched. I want to stretch it. Aha! Uh -huh. So if we offset it, here we go. That's the one. However, this thing is the wrong way around. So why is that the case? I want to stretch it like that. That's what I basically want to do. Uh, but that's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, there we go. That's the one that I'm after. Custom, just a custom. That's what you want. A custom one. And now you can, in fact. Stretch it a little bit. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's that's awesome. That's really awesome. So we can see how this will work. We may have to come back and do some upgrades a little bit later. All these kind of things. Let's quickly do the same thing down over here. I want to make sure that we stretch this one again. Just so that we can have a smoother transition. So we'll do that. Let's get the line marking tool. Um, it's this one. Um, so what I'm after is that needs to be a double solid, right? Double con double solid is control and shift. There we go. Double solid over there. Um, this is just a solid, which is going to be, what is solid? Shift is just a solid. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. And then this one basically flares into two. From this side, I'm not too uh, fussed by it. So let's just do that. Let's make sure to get use traffic manager president edition. I don't think it needs to. We need to worry about it too much. So that'll be that one and that one. And that should resolve this area right over here. Now, what I'm keen on doing is let's. Um, uh, ooh, we've already got some stuff. What is this? I've never seen this. Apply, turn counterclockwise, reverse order, turn clockwise. Don't apply. Reset. What is that? Do you want to exit? Uh, do you want to exit edit mode and apply changes? Don't apply. Now, what we want to do is I, I have no idea what actually happened there, but this is what we're going to kind of do. And what I'm interested in is this needs to be a solid line also. And then this one. Oh, you know what? I had some stuff in here. Oh, actually, that's not what I'm after. I'm after a double uh a double dashed double dash through here yeah that's pretty good let's do a solid in there um and a solid through that section over there that's pretty good we'll see if this all works uh what i'm gonna do with regards to traffic manager mm, just thinking about this this one is going to be a turn so what we could in fact do Let's see about this. If we make this a solid line and can we, yeah, that's not actually going to work. That's not actually going to work. Hmm. This is an interesting one. I wanted this to be a bit of a, I might, I might play around with this between episodes just because, um, let's cancel that one. Yes. Let's delete that one. So the idea is that these guys will turn. I'll, I'll play around between episodes and see if I can get this to work a little bit better. I'm not a big, I'm not the biggest, um, pro user of the, uh, of the line marking tool, but, uh, but it's, it's pretty good. It's this one, the line or the intersection marking tool. Now let's just quickly make sure we get our things sorted out. So that one is not going to go that way. That one's this way, that way. All of the rest should be fine. So let's go ahead and resume the playthrough. These guys, um, I think, oh, hang on. We may need, we may need, uh, not, not the intersection marking tool, we may need to just do a little something over here to make sure that that guy is actually going in there. 
And this guy is actually going in over that side. Oh, but they can also come in this way. Um, this one will have to go that way. I don't think I need to do this, to be honest. But come on, can we can we can we link the the stuff? Yeah, let's do that. I don't I, honestly, I don't think I needed to do all of that, but I just want to make sure that we've actually got that sorted out. So let's switch that one off. We'll close the unify, um, and this one needs to be free flowing. Actually, this is the this is the issue here. Oh, I don't have a stop line in here, but this one needs to be free flowing. Um, so again, we'll have to go to Traffic Manager President Edition and just see what we've got going on. Over here, can we do lane by lane? Bulk edit, quick setup, priority. I've no idea whether we can actually do lane by lane. If we can't do lane by lane, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, let's just go with some of the intersection stuff here. So this guy can... Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make the... Um... What I am going to do, oh, not not a not a signal. If you have, if you make it a signal, that can can work. But what we're going to do is this guy, because that should have it run all the way. This is a bit of a a challenge. We can do some further upgrades, but I think actually I think this is working. I think this is working. So all of a sudden, you'll see we'll be able to resolve some of the queuing that we had over here. We may have to do a few other tweaks, but for the time being, we're going to let that be. Uh, I've never done the. I didn't do the line markings on this side. But we'll 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 fix it. We'll fix it. It's just uh, it's it's, not, it's obviously not going to be perfect, but uh, but that's a pretty minor upgrade, and it's going to help our queuing a fair bit. We'll come back in a while and see if that's still the case. Now let's start where we're going to actually start our city. So in order for us to start our city, so I'm not going to bypass the city straight away. The city is going to form part of this. So what we'll do is we'll actually grab a pretty standard little road. Uh, which is going to be this one. We're just going to do the standard two lane road and we're going to do some upgrades. I'm going to, I'm using zoning adjuster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to always prioritize the older roads. Um, I'm not going to do any of the other things. So let's um, upgrade this area over here to become a zonable um, piece of road. And let's do a little bit more of that. So about up to about there is going to be good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll also zone on the other side up to about the um, the little lake over here, and what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll slowly start to develop a little bit of a town. Now, um, in order for us to maybe do that, let's make a start with a little section of road out over here, and maybe a little section of road out over this area over there. So that's what we're gonna do. Make a start over here. Now, what we're going to do first is I'm going to um, include a few things. I'm going to try and not zone. I'm going to manually try and not zone in some of the locations where we would have problems. So this section through here um, is where I'm going to do some of those basics. What we'll also do is we'll add some of our town essentials. So I'll put a little bit of a, and it's interesting that I can't actually find the, okay, so we'll do that. We'll get a police station in here. We'll get ourselves a little clinic. We don't have any, I don't have any rural clinic assets or anything like that, but what we'll do is we'll get ourselves a little clinic over here. Um, I've got Anarchy switched on, but what we'll do is we'll leave a little bit of room in between, and we can also, um, around the corner on this side, maybe, uh, you know what? Uh, let's quickly also upgrade this section of road here. A little bit out that way, so we can place, uh, place our fire department um, right here on this stretch of road, like so. I like that. That's a that's a pretty good spot. Now, what we'll do is we'll quickly provide them with a little bit of water. So we'll run the water all the way to our water um, tower over here. And what we'll need to do is we'll also need to. I'll speed things up a little bit. We'll also need to make sure that we've got um, some form of sewage treatment. So let's quickly find. An appropriate switch. I'm not playing with them um, with cash, so I can build everything we need straight away. But uh, but that's going to be just about it. And now the thing is with switch treatment is you probably have something fairly close to town without it necessarily being all the way. So let's continue to upgrade this little section of road through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little road, probably something like this, right? A very small. 
little road. Uh, no, not a one-way. A small little road that we're going to just take off of the main line over here. Maybe just five like that. Yeah, I like that. I actually quite like that. And then what we'll do is we'll use the free free flowing tool and we'll run it out here just a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll get our, um, our facilities for these guys right over here. So what are we going to do? We're going to use an advanced inland water treatment facility or maybe just a basic one. An inland water treatment facility is what we're going to going to do and we're going to place it right um, over here it's tucked away um, in the bushes and things over there so that's going to be just good um, now let's make sure to link that up all the way to what we've got over here so now that's all linked up what we don't have is it's probably not going to be powered so let's quickly have a look at our power situation yes in fact it is not so let's um let's bring power down here for this guy to actually get power as well and now we've got that facility right over there. So we've got some basic pieces in here. Now, what will happen is now we actually need to lay out a little bit of a town um, environment for people to uh, do. And I don't want to necessarily, but 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 what is what is kind of okay? So let's let's what we'll do is let's continue straight over here um, next to the edge of the water. And then what we'll do is we'll start to um, twist it a little bit so that it kind of goes around. Um, it, it, yeah, it kind of provides access around the lake, something like this. This is kind of what I'm what I have in mind. Now, um, in order for us to actually do a little bit of a town section, what I'll do is let's extend this one um, a little bit more in terms of a straight section. And then I'm going to provide pretty large, pretty large blocked area over here. To be honest, maybe what we should instead do is not do that, but do a tie in over here so that this guy can actually tie into, into that area. Nice. That's actually a pretty good spot. Now, we need to provide a few areas where people can actually live. So what I thought we'd do is we'll do... Maybe a couple of sections like this. Let's do... Uh, I thought this would be, wouldn't be quite what I wanted, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do it anyway. So up to about there. Nice. That's, that's okay. And, and now what we'll do is we can see about providing some of the smaller road sections and maybe cul de sacking them or something like that. So if I do... Um, just little straight sections up to there. Yeah, I'm I, I'm actually quite a fan of this. What we'll do is we'll run one up into this very area here. We won't actually tie them together right there, but that's pretty good. And we'll have maybe another one um, right up here somewhere. We won't do it all the way. We'll have another one over here. Maybe this one goes almost all the way. Something like that. Um, I, I like that. So there's a few bits and pieces for our town to make a start. Now, with this in mind, let's quickly um, let's quickly zone some of our residential components over here. So what I'll do is we'll zone these guys. It's a little unfortunate that, 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 that they're only the three wides. I'm wondering about making these uh, nicer cul-de-sacs. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll do that. I'll dezone some sections, but here we go. Here we go. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. To be honest, um, a little bit of variability in the zoning size is not the end of the world. We need to remember to bring them in a little bit of water. Um, we'll do that. And what I'll do is I'll just dezone these guys like that. Um, I want to dezone this and that. For instance, and we'll see a little bit more what we can do over here. Uh, let's just no, 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 not not high density, low density over there, low density over there. Uh, I'm I'm not going to zone it all the way up there. Okay, now that is in play. Now let's bring in some water. As you can see, we're getting a lot of stuff actually happening straight away. Uh, what I find interesting is that these guys are actually running. Through uh, through the town section instead of staying on the main line, why is why is that? Why would that be? Why are these guys diverting through this area? 
unless they're actually coming in here to deliver some stuff. So we'll keep an eye on. Um, ideally speaking, this should uh, should not be the case. So we'll we'll have a look and see what's actually happening over there. What I thought we'd do is maybe we'll, um, I'm going to try and do basic cul-de-sacs in here. So let's do this. Uh, not quite what I had in mind, but that's okay. Um, I'll do, ooh. Can I, can I upgrade a little section of it? No, I can't. Uh, okay, so what I'll do is I will actually do this. Just do the side here, and I'll use Move It to fix it. Um, similarly, I'll do that, and I'll do this, and I'll use Move It to fix these guys. So they just look look the part of a, a little cul-de-sac a little bit more. So using Move It, um, I'm just going to bring this guy in here. So it kind of does the little, little cul-de-sac arrangement at the end there. Ooh, maybe a little bigger. Um, and I believe I can use this tool to remove markings. So if I remove all the markings, beautiful. There goes the markings. And that should be just fine. Is it going to make a turn? Yeah, well, that's fine. I, I don't mind that. So out of there, there we go. And that's my little cul-de-sac over there. I'm not going to spend tons of effort to try and sort things out. There's no zoning on here, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's use move it over here and do the very same thing um, right there. And I'm I'm actually, oh, beautiful. Connecting them up like that is exactly what I wanted to do. Now let's hit this button and remove all the markings. Excellent. There we go. Little cul-de-sacs everywhere. Uh, move it yet again. Just like that. And um, again, what we'll do is we'll just remove the markings over here. There we go. That's beautiful. And we'll do the final one. I think this is the final one. We'll just bring it, tie it in so it actually connects up over there. I'm happy to see that the, the traffic is back up on that road. Now we'll pop in here and we'll remove the markings right over there. Nice. Okay. So anything else? That is about it for it. Uh, markings is off. So there we go. Now we've got our first little town section over here. We can, of course, um, start to expand our facilities as we need to. Um, and we're going to need to do that pretty much straight away. But as you can see, we also have a need for um, rubbish collection. And I'm kind of tempted that this area is a good spot to do it. Drains wastewater back into the water source. Um, let's just see. Can If we do uh, pollution. Yeah, so that is going to generate pollution. So that's okay. So that's fine. So if that's going to generate pollution, we can also do our um, garbage facilities over here. And what I'm keen on doing is a bit of a small recycling center, maybe. Oh, actually, that will work. Um, that will work a treat, really. So let's do that. We'll put a small recycling center in there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's not. No, it's not. Is it fine? Let's let's move it a little bit. I'm going to move it just up here a tad, um, and that's better. I think that's that's a little bit better. Now, people will be doing that. So here is the start of our town. So now I can already imagine people are having, we've got some workers over here doing their thing going up there. Uh, similarly, I'm just thinking maybe we should actually connect one or two of these guys. I'm just thinking, cul de sacking them at the start is maybe not the right thing to do. You only cul de sac this later as part of some issues. But let's uh, let's continue our expansion over here. Um, we'll go back with the small um, one lane facilities, and what we'll do is we'll see about running these roads out here a little bit. I do like the zoning adjuster tool that we're using. It maintains our our zoning really well, I think, for the most part. Now, if we, oh, actually, going straight through there is not going to be bad. And then going straight through this section is not going to be bad, too. Then we can start doing some other things as well. Uh, this one, we'll, we could go up to about here and then bring it in that way. Um, and similarly, similarly, we could do something like this over here. Let's um, let's let's tie this one. Oh yes, let's do do about there. Uh, I I don't mind that. And what we'll do is we'll uh, just tie this one straight in over there. 
that's fine. I'm, I'm not a not a big. Uh, this is not a big problem. What we'll do is I'm almost tempted to uh, upgrade this road that we're using right over here, just so that it becomes a slightly larger, a slightly larger road to deal with. So if I do that, yeah, I'm gonna lose a little bit of zoning over here, which is not not the end of the world. We could ultimately upgrade this one if we needed to, but I think this is this is about right. What we could do is then go back and get another little smaller section over here, and we can just um, we can just see about tying in a connection. Through there and actually run it all the way through that way. So now it's maybe a little bit extreme, but uh, but that's it. So this is our, our town expansion over here. So now we need to think about things like schools as well. So what I'll do is I'll use our larger road area. Right there, we'll put in a school and what we'll do is we'll also put in our, uh, our high school. So I've got a few high schools. What's the size of this guy? Actually, let's uh, let's get rid of that one. I'm not, I don't want to use this one. I'll, let's use one of our assets just so that we uh, don't get straight into our, our standards. Let's get this guy. Oh, it's actually a pretty good spot um, if, we, if we pop it in there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not opposed to it. We can use some ploppable asphalt or something. Uh it's a little it's a little close. Let's uh let's move it away just a tad. I think that's that's a better that's a better better turnout for us over there. And I would also like to do um maybe the high school on the other side. So let's grab the high school. What kind of a, a reasonable high school can we do? This is a primary school. Nova City High School. It's a bit not quite right. This one is a this one is a, okay, well, actually, let's do this. So it's a reasonably sized high school facility that we can do right over there. Okay, so we've got a pretty nice high school and primary school um, of the same kind of standards over here. That's good. It's a little bit large for a town like this, but I, I do like what we're doing with it over here. Let's make sure to grab um, some water facilities for these guys. I'm not going to be um, super, do a super awesome job with the piping. We'll have to have a look at how we how we deal with that for the most part. Uh, we'll just start to slowly do this here. And up to about there. And what we'll do is tie it in. Okay, perfect. So now that's over there. We need some power over here. So what we'll do in order to get the power down is we'll add a little bit of. So what we'll do is we'll add a shop or two over here. So I'm going to provide us with a shop right there and a shop right over here. And probably what we'll do is we'll do another shop right over here and then we'll zone the rest of this um, to be. Uh, residential and we could probably do little gaps in between them to be honest so let's do that so that we don't have a fully loaded area here we should have probably done a bit of a gap there so interestingly enough what we should do is maybe do gaps down here instead we'll do something like that uh, i am playing with the realistic um, populations mod so uh, the number of people who lives in houses are pretty minimal So if we do something like that, that's a pretty decent um, setup. So now we've got power down over here. Lots of people actually driving through this section. I can do a bit of uh, uh, a bit. I can go to a bit of effort to sort some of these things out. I still don't quite understand why so many people are actually diverting through here. I might have to speed up that road a little bit, a tad, to make that work. But I'm I'm comfortable that this is starting to get the feel of the type of town that we're really after. Let's quickly add a few more residential components here what we'll do is we'll make sure to kind of have them a little bit split out so that they're not too on top of one another um so let's do something like this do something like that and we'll maybe get one of these guys in here similarly we'll give a little bit of gap with the intersection over there uh, maybe a double gap in there and we'll yeah uh, Maybe that one will do the other direction. So something like that. 
So that gives us um, the growing uh, nature of our little town over here. Uh, what we will see is things will start to get really busy and we will have to upgrade intersections and do bypasses and, and all these kind of things. What we also don't have at the moment is death care. So let's get um, death care. What I have is this guy. That's a 10,000. Uh, no, we'll just do the standard facility and we'll... Um, I'm kind of wondering whether we do the death care over here. Or do we, we, do we see about plopping it... Um, uh, you know what? Forget about death care. We're going to do a cemetery, and the cemetery will uh, be in this area um, right here, I think, is about right. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty cool. Um, little little piece of land over there. Let's. Um, ooh, what we probably need to do, and I'm going to start ending this episode soon, what I'm interested in also is maybe an asset for, ooh, for, for maybe a high school baseball stadium. Hmm, if I wanted to do it here, it could work there, but then we'll have to get rid of that road. And I'm not opposed. Let's uh, let's trim out this road and let's get our high school baseball stadium in this spot right over here. And how does that look and feel? Um, I think I'm missing some stuff. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I can do a bit of trees and, and make it look a little bit nicer right over here. But that's uh, that's that's not bad. So now it's kind of looking like like this area. Is there something else we can kind of plop in this area? I might be having a, a bit of a challenge with some of my assets here. I'll have to keep an eye out for some of them. Uh, maybe something like this. I'm not too sure if that's going to... Well, actually, it'll look pretty nice, I think, in this area as if we fill up, if we fill it up with uh, with some trees and stuff. So this kind of almost becomes a little bit of a park park kind of situation there. That's going to be really nice. Let's uh, Let's quickly fill in a few more of these and then we'll end the episode. Do something like that. I'm going to try and keep it fairly low density over here until such time as our city expands and we potentially need to really um, grow things a little bit. So um, let's do that. This is pretty... Um, let's try and off-center it a little bit. So let's do something like this instead. There we go. And I don't mind sometimes sometimes doing something like this. Uh, what we could also do is we could also have a little shop right here, a little shop right there. I think that's going to be awesome. And what we'll do is we'll uh, have another bit of an area in here, in there, and probably in there. There we go. So now people can actually do that. So we've got people um, arriving in our town. Our first 200 people are arriving. We've got a school. It's got a nice low density look and feel to it. Um, and let's quickly finalize it by going out and look at it of this. It works a charm what we've done over here. I'll see in between episodes if I can figure um, this out a little bit better so we can uh, we can sort it out a tad. This shouldn't be happening. Um, I want to upgrade. I want to just make sure that this is working um, properly. So I might have a little bit of a look at that in between episodes. But guys, it's the first episode of a brand new series. We're going to try and build a, a naturally growing city over here. As you can see, we're going to sort of start to have to deal with traffic problems really quickly on. And, and that's exactly what I'm going for so that we can actually end up with something that, that works quite well. Um, so yes, if you've enjoyed it, as this is a new series, please hit that like button. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of stuff and you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, before I go, this is still called Springdale. If you've got a suggestion for a name for this um, um, hydroelectric power plant town or city over here, and it'll grow to a big one, and um, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, give me a name for this town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.